Hello everyone, welcome to Linux Sibling. Today I will show you guys how to create a user and then give that user access to any drive on your system. So let's get started. First, open your Ubuntu and click on the Applications menu. From there, select Settings. After that, search Users from the search bar. Select Add or Remove Users. And you can see the Add User option at the top. But for security purposes, you have to unlock the option by giving currently logged in user password. So let's unlock by typing current user password. And then authenticate. As you can see, the add user option in green color now. Click on it. Now, as we want to give the newly created user drive access, so we have to give it administrative privileges. For that, select the administrator account type. Next, set the user's full name. After entering the name, the system will automatically create a username. You can either use that one or create one that you like. But remember, when selecting usernames, use only lowercase letters without spaces between them. Also, avoid using special characters such as asterisk, question marks, and brackets. If you want, you can use numbers like this or you can use underscores also now for the password you can set it when you next login or let's set up password now always try to use a stronger password at last add the user by click on the add option there you go we have created a new, new user you can see the user info from the user list For the next step, open the drive you want to give access to your newly created user. Here, I will add permission for this drive. Right click on it. As you can see, the properties option at the bottom. Select it. From there, go to permissions and then go to groups. Here, you can see all the groups available on your system. And you can find your new user group name that is Lilipi. Select it and done. Now your user will have access to this drive. Next, let's try the process with the terminal. For that, first open your terminal. Now let's create a user using the add user command. To do so, just type the command followed by the username. That is add user and then the username. Press enter. Remember to add the sudo command, this is the add user command, which permits administrative privileges. As you can see, without sudo privileges, you won't be able to create a user with sudo command before it. Press enter. Then enter the current user password. Press again. You can see the command is creating a new group. And then adding the user to that group it is also creating a new directory for the user at last it is copying some files from this directory to the user's home directory to provide some basic settings for the user after that it is asking for the new password for the new user so let's try setting the password remember to use a strong password see password updated successfully after that it is asking for some basic information for the user you can enter the value at last it is asking is the information is correct press y press yes and press end now your user has been created for the next step let's check if we have successfully created the user or not for that use the get end command get end and give password as an argument for the command which will look into the database and then pipe the output to the grep command followed by the username which will search for our username from the list that was done hit enter from the output you can see 
the new user info where this is the UID, this is the GID, this is the home directory path for the new user. You can see the new user info and it has been created successfully. After that, keep the new user sudo privileges and for that add it to the sudo group. In this case, we will use the user mod command. The command modifies assigned attributes to the user. And remember to use the sudo command before the user mod command too. Then use the command option A and D as it will add the user to the additional sudo group. Then the name that is sudo followed by the user name. That is done. Please enter and your new user now has the sudo privileges. You can take that using the id command. For that, just type the command id and then the username. Press enter. You can see for the groups, your user is now a member of the sudo group. Next, set the permissions for the drive you want to share with the new user so that it can access or modify the drive. For that, use the change mode or change mode command. This command changes access permissions for files and directories. Also, remember to use the sudo command before the change mode command. After that, attribute permissions using the plus sign and use R, W, and X for the read, write, and execute permissions for the by the location path of the drive. Now, this is the location path of the drive that I want to share with the Tom user. Remember to use the correct location path of your drive. Next, press enter, and your drive has now read, write, and execute permissions. After that, change the ownership of the drive using the change own or change owner command. For that, write the command and then the username followed by the drive location path. Also, remember to use the sudo command before the change owner command. Press enter. Now your user has read, write, and execute permission of this drive. Now that we have added read, write, and execute permissions for the drive and also change the ownership of the drive, let's verify if the new user can access the drive. For that, switch to the new user using the true or substitute command followed by the login option and then the username. Press enter, keep the new user password. Press enter again. And now we are logged in with the Tom user. If you type the command pwd, you can see now you are in the home directory of Tom user. Change this directory to the drive directory using the change directory command that is cd and then the drive location path. Press enter. As you can see, we are inside the drive now. Let's try to see the directory contents using the list or ls command. Here we can see the list of the files and directories inside this drive. Let's try to create some files inside the directory using the touch command. Just to check if we can write that drive recent time and then Use the ls command again to see if those files have been created. And there you can see these new two files have been created successfully. So the new user Tom has also write access for this drive. That means the user has access to read, write, and execute this drive. Thank you for watching.